Hi, I'm Gina Greenlee, and welcome to Have a Ball Writing Your First Novel, Week 2, Session 1. If you've been approaching your first novel like a child at play, as we discussed last week, that means you've tapped one of your most important trance states for this journey. You are in an altered state where your subconscious is delivering information to you the only way it knows how in non-linear fragments of sights, sounds, smells, and notions. You've also planted these notebooks in every nook and cranny of your world to make it easy for you to take dictation as your novel speaks to you from your subconscious mind. So I hope you're having fun and being playful with how your novel speaks to you without you having to do anything much other than be open and receive. That's why we're having a ball because we're not yoking ourselves. Because your subconscious speaks a different language from your conscious mind, it's non-linear. It doesn't deal with logic the conscious mind understands. It offers information in fragments. It speaks in metaphor. It speaks in images. At some point, for your novel to be an enjoyable reading experience for you and others, you will need to structure the flow of information that you're receiving from your subconscious mind. Now this is a delicate dance. On the one hand, you want to be open and uh, playful with the, the creative, energizing chaos of your subconscious while also consciously ordering the flow of information it gives you. Now on the surface, this might sound contradictory. Uh -uh, it's not. Creativity and structure are not mutually exclusive states with no interplay. Not because we are human, every day, all day, we receive information for our, from our subconscious mind and then our conscious mind organizes it to serve us in varied areas of our lives. We do this every time we receive an idea. Whoop, just pops into our head about anything, a project on the job how we are parenting our children, solving a particular life problem. We are not conscious of the origin of the idea. Our conscious mind only knows that, hmm, I like the sound of that, and we want to explore it in the physical world. In other words, we want to try it out. That's it. I have no prompts for this session. Why? Because hopefully you're still playing with all the information that your novel has given you since last week and you're capturing that in your notebooks and you're being open to receive. But I also wanted to lay the foundation for week two in which we will discuss and begin sandboxing. So in our next session we're going to start organizing the colorful, playful, chaotic fragments of our subconscious mind and uh, as it interplays with our imagination. Administrative postscript. I'm publishing the entire week's sessions every Monday clockwork beginning our third week the Monday of our third week, which is September 29th. It's taken me a couple of weeks to find my rhythm of conceiving, scripting, recording, editing, publishing, annotating these session videos. And I will see you in session two.